Hey everyone, how's it going? Pixel saying in today's video, I'm giving you a ball counter build for Kelly on Evil Dead the game. So a lot of people have been asking me to do like sort of a ball counter series for Survivor. Uh, it, I'm not going to be able to do one for every character. Uh, I think like the warrior class is going to be very, very difficult. Um, I'm sure I will come up with something though. I've even tried doing like the whole fear resistance stuff on warrior. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but I've actually designed a really nice one for Kelly. Um, and you can pretty much transfer this to every hunter as well, so it kind of works for every hunter. Um, there will be some other different uh, abilities and perks I will pick on other hunters, so I will still be doing videos for each individual hunter. However, if you want to use this on any hunter right now, until I get those videos out, uh, you can do that, of course. And Okay, so let's begin for the build. So the first thing we're going to go for is long shot, obviously just 5% in there. Fortunately, you know, I'd like to start that off at 15%. It's a bit annoying that we start that off at 5%, but it's whatever. Um, the next thing we're just going to max out hollow points uh, obviously we kind of want to make sure that we have some damage on hunter here uh, you're not going to be doing massive amount of damage in this build however you know even me using this build throughout an entire stream i hit a few games with you know 80,000 damage just using common weapons so it is doable for having high damage games as well and um, you're just not going to be having massive amount of damage games if that makes sense so the next one we're going to put one point into staying power and one point into awful dodger and then we're going to come up here, we're going to put one point into balance bar damage, one point into divide and conquer, and one point into surgical strike. So, with surgical strike, obviously using a shotgun works really well with this, or, you know, a boomstick. Um, at the moment, because of my prestige challenges, I haven't been using those weapons that much because I've been needing to hit headshots, and shotguns aren't great for that. Uh, mainly because every pellet has to hit the head in order for it to deem as a headshot on the leaderboard. So... You know, for prestige challenges, it's not great. However, using this in a general game, even if you have Kelly leveled up or you're not too bothered about prestige, uh, you know, using this with a shotgun actually really helps out to make sure all those pellets hit the unit, uh, especially if you're bodying them. So combined with some dismemberment and some balance bar damage, it actually works great. So uh, this is like the main track here that we're going to be focusing on for Kelly. Uh, in particular, any hunter should be running this as well uh, against Ball. And to be honest, this works well against most other demons. You know, I played quite a lot of Elagosses um, when I was testing this build out. So I thought it was quite successful, mainly because I feel like if I didn't have this build, I would have been dead in so many different scenarios. And, you know, hunter dodging isn't as reliable as it used to be. There's so many times where you will dodge and you'll still get hit. Or, you know, there's a lot of latency involved with that. And, you know, dodging into traps can hurt too. So... Uh, with this build, we're going to max out fear no evil. Obviously, we want to be really hard to possess, and this is where this like this is probably like the best perks to put on Hunter. Honestly, uh, you know, reduction of fear received from a trap and ready for anything, which is damage reduction received from a trap. So obviously, Ball, you know, he's, he's really a pain in the ass for setting down traps and constantly setting down traps during objectives. So making sure I have the damage reduction there and the fear reduction and more fear reduction every time I set off a trap. It's going to make sure that my fear bar does not go up a massive amount every time I set off a trap. And so the next one, we're just going to max out industrial strength. Of course, uh, a lot of people say, well, don't run industrial strength on Hunter. However, because you're playing against a ball and, you know, when you do get possessed and you can get possessed for quite a long time, you will notice that Hunter health gets absolutely obliterated from being possessed, unfortunately. Uh, I did tinker a bit with this. I know I did try out having tougher than hell instead, you know, a combine with like the damage reduction from a demon trap. However, I feel like for the extra extra skill point i wanted to put that somewhere else and i just made sure that i have obviously a uh, maximum health there so you know having these four perks maxed out are really really good for countering the likes of ball and so uh, you know we've got another five skill points to play around with if you don't have kelly prestige of course it says six here because i have a prestige too um but you know we're just going to put deadly up close there again that's a nice extra 20 percent damage with our uh, range weapons so you know combining that with hollow points a bit of balance bar dismemberment and surgical strike we're still going to be able to do enough damage here as well as you know relying on our own survivability which is great and then we've got two more points to spend i will recommend that you put it in light therapy so uh having this at 25 percent fear reduction speed it actually helps out quite a lot especially you know with um david's campfire when that gets thrown down any little lights that are on our objectives because you know with ball the weird thing is about him is he can lower your fear threshold to about 60 percent 70 percent and then what it could normally be so it's you can <laughs> To be able to be possessed, you can lower that quite easily and, you know, it can be a real pain in the ass. And unfortunately, we don't really have a counter to that on Survivor. There's no way to actually, like, up your fear threshold, unfortunately. Um, so, 
it's a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with that, especially with Ball, how, you know, dur during objectives, the objective counts as, like, a fear source as well, so your fear level tends to go up during objectives as well. So, you know, as you're playing Hunter, you like to play a ranged, obviously. And, of course, like, you will tend to be able to fight quite a lot. And what I tend to do is obviously stay on the outskirts. However, when you stay on the outskirts of objectives, that's usually when... Uh, that's usually where the demons can place down their traps. So, you know, kind of stay next to a light source during that objective can be greatly helpful for you and your team. This build has been tried and tested. Honestly, I've spent a lot of games using this build. And, I, I you know, I was kind of worried because I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do enough damage here with me being a hunter. Honestly, like I said, I've been hitting... All over like 80k games nearly with with this just using common weapons so you know if i did actually find like a purple boomstick or something i definitely would have been able to hit higher numbers with that um but yeah it's been working great for me the survivability is there that's that's kind of been the thing with me playing hunter lately is like i just haven't been enjoying it too much playing hunter because i feel like they're so squishy you might as well say uh, yeah yeah I mean, you could say, oh, just get used to dodging or get better at dodging, but that's just really not the case in this game. There's so many times where you can dodge something and, you know, you'll be miles away. You'll still get hit or you can get hit during your dodge animation. Like, like I said, uh, dodging on this game isn't as reliable as it used to be. Okay, so before we actually talk about, you know, spending the pink fuck, what we will see is where we couldn't spend the extra five skill points on Kelly if you are prestiged with her. So obviously I already have one extra skill point right now. And for me, I'm kind of thinking I want to get some headshot or some extra damage here because I feel like I have the survivability perks already. So obviously, um, what I would do is I would max out Wig Splitter and then you would be left with like one point over. Um, with the one point, what I would say is possibly going for long shot just to get the extra range damage there or the extra range on your range weapons, sorry. Uh, you could go for that. You could go for up and surgical strike to 35% is entirely up to you. I feel like if you are using shotguns primarily on Kelly, definitely look at doing surgical strike. You know, if you're not great at hitting headshots and you do struggle with that, I will give you an alternative here where you can buff up last chance and maybe start using stuff like a blunderbuss and getting extra damage that way too. Um, but yeah, I think all this works great. Um, like I said, I've tried and tested this build over multiple games and it worked fantastic. Uh, just quickly going over the pink fuck on how to spend it to like count a ball in this build. So obviously with all the fear reduction we have, the first thing I actually like to go for is fear on the pink fuck uh, upgrade. So maxing that out to, to three points gives you a, like a really nice fear reduction there. You'll notice your fear bar doesn't tend to go quite often. And like I said, even if you're playing against other demons... Obviously, this is the counter ball. Other demons are going to really, really struggle to try and get your fear level up. The only one that I can really think of that'll get your fear level up pretty much is Warlord with the, uh, you know, the blood spatter coming off the elites. And not only that, um, Elagos with his power possessions, if he get hit off those guys, um, obviously they can put your fear level up a little bit. But honestly, it will counter those a little bit as well. So it works pretty much a universal type of build and not just a counter ball. Obviously, like I said, fear first. The next one is stamina. Obviously, you're playing Hunter. You want to get as much stamina as possible. Um, obviously, we don't have Awful Dodger maxed out. How about you, you are playing Kelly, so I don't feel like you need Awful Dodger maxed out because you can just use her ability in any ways and obviously cheese a lot of dodges if you try and do that and then uh, just be able to not take any hits that way. And, and then, obviously, we're going to go range. And instead of melee or, or health, I actually like to go down to shield. Uh, I know probably using shields is a bit of a waste on hunters, uh, but for me, I feel like having the, the shield bar kind of maxed out instead of using health or melee on the on the pink fuck upgrades for hunter because you don't intend to get quite a lot from that. I like to actually max out the shield. You know, there's always like quite an excessive amount of amulets on the floor. Obviously, I only really use this if I know my warrior, like if my warrior is kind of good for shields. But, you know, if I'm paying attention to my warrior, you know, they don't really have their shields leveled up. I will throw the amulets out for them instead. Um, however, you know, if I'm finding excessive shields while I'm gathering loot or anything like that, I will, you know, use them on myself just to give me that little bit of extra survivability. It's obviously not a huge amount of health, but it does work greatly. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this build. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I really hope it helps you guys to count a ball. Like I said, it worked fantastic for me. Um, the amount of ball games that I actually played against him, it, it did work pretty well. You know, it was games where even though I did go down in some situations, I still won. Or, you know, I just kept thinking to myself, if I didn't have this build on, I would have been dead probably a long time ago um, against Bob.
Baal or, you know, some other demons just because of the survivability factor there, which I think is fantastic. Um, you know, I feel like I was getting quite targeted a lot using this build as well. And it really, really helped me out uh, massively in the games. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the build. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you have any success with this build against Baal as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that sub button if you are new to the channel for more Evil Dead content. And I have been Pixels. You're my awesome viewers. I'll catch you guys in the next one.